unfortunately, you know, I, I had to hurt my hand, but you know, I've come back from a lot worse. My parents, you know, didn't come from a lot of money. They gave up everything. They pretty much worked just to, you know, buy my bikes and get me to races. And, you know, that, you know, taught me to put full effort into whatever I'm doing. Nothing was ever handed to me. I always had to, you know, go get it. And that's how, you know, my parents were as well. So I think, you know, just, you know, being around them and learning, you know, how hard they worked, it gave me that, you know, motivation to, to work hard and, you know, to, you know, never give up. How I was raised definitely, you know, kept me humble and, you know, super grateful for everything. I, I think, you know, you you can get lost a little bit. Like, you know, 16 years old, go professional and start making a lot of money. Uh, you can definitely lose track. And I wouldn't say I ever lost track, but that can, like, change things. And uh, I definitely, you know, I had to, you know, make sure I stayed on the right path. And I was at Honda and uh, you know I was ready to make a like a change and uh, I was looking for a new team and uh, JGR came about and it seemed like you know it was going to be a good fit everyone everyone over there is super cool right away I got ankle surgery so I you know went into it fresh start like new ankle like super healthy and good and uh, over the, the couple of years I had uh, you know a lot of injuries and just never you know we, we won some races and we had some you know little highlights here or there we went to the motocross of nations we did some cool stuff Stuff, but all in all we just never could get that perfect year and I, I was never really ever ever able to get super comfortable on the, on the old bike and then we made the switch to the Suzuki and right off the bat I had a, me a mechanical and broke my wrist and uh, you know then got back on the bike in the middle of Supercross tried to get used to it and you know just just wasn't bond with it couldn't get comfortable and then uh, in outdoors kind of started off not bad was you know get more comfortable uh, you know near the podium and uh, almost had a podium at Southwick and uh, ran out of fuel and then uh, ended up Washougal I had a really bad crash like right when I was starting to get kind of good again so it was pretty much like a wash wash year again so it was pretty much just you know every year just not starting out like to my full potential and that was you know years on top of years on top of years so it just kind of was tough you know I had this big you know company come to me not like a factory team but a team that seemed like it was going to be all that and you know it was a you know for me the biggest contract I ever got and you know it, it was looking like it was going to be awesome and uh, yeah then you know the the, the downfall a bit you could say because I went from being such a you know highly ranked 250 rider and and then I you know went there and I was supposed to win championships and that just didn't work out and it's you know it doesn't always work out the way you want it to work out unfortunately you know maybe I had to go through those those tough times to, to build some more character it was a pretty miserable couple of years uh, a lot of injuries and a lot of you know a lot of tough times but uh came came through it you know, I had a decision to make if I wanted to keep racing or if I wanted to, you know, kind of retire. So I decided to go the privateer route for a little bit and uh, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. It was more like amateur racing. It kind of, you know, it, it took the pressure off, you could say. But it was, it was a lot of hard, it was, it was, you know, my hard work training plus, uh, plus, you know, trying to get the bike together and things like that, which I had great people helping me, but it was a lot on my shoulders, but it wasn't a lot of pressure because, you know, I, I didn't have to do good for for anyone else I just had to do good for myself I just had so many tough years that I was like mentally I was like over it like where I was at and okay these guys don't want to you know give me a job that's fine I haven't really proved myself in a you know in a while so I was like I'll give it a shot and uh, yeah it wasn't like I wasn't trying to like prove anything but I was definitely going out there to you know more so prove it to myself and uh, the day before the race I got a call from factory Yamaha and they said oh, hey you know Davey got hurt would you race the monster cup on our bike unfortunately I had to decline and say no I can't do that like so many people have helped me and you know I've went this route this is the route I'm gonna go but if there's anything in the future you know let me know you know like they, they called and said hey there might be an opportunity I was actually at a point to where I was either gonna have to do my own thing because it was getting late in the season or, or go with these guys and luckily it, it did work out and um, signed with the, the team for six races and then uh, you know after those six races I signed for you know the rest of the season ended up uh, breaking my hand a bone in it it was it was tough because I was just really you know I was really bummed I was in a super good position in the championship and I was like super optimistic I was happy with my bike and the most comfortable I've been and you know 
I can't even remember how long, but I did, you know, show people I can still hit the podium. It's, you know, I've just missed racing and I just want to be back racing. I was, uh, I was having a lot of fun.